<clears throat> so I kept hearing about the um, the DKO these stuff. <clears throat> Ran across this. People have been talking about the system is not working and tearing up and stuff. <clears throat> Never ordered from. Them. I started to. Only thing I want to get from them was a '64. I ended up getting one of my buddy. He gave me one for free. Shout out to Lorenzo. He gave me one for free. Uh, but I still got to get some um, some more games. But um, but uh, I've been hearing about this stuff tearing because I thought DK Oldies. I seen them a couple of times. I thought they were gonna be like the new, the new new version of uh, Funko Land. If you're an old school gamer, you remember Funko Land with the long. Um, I don't got a paper here, but the long. Newspaper list full of games. Uh, Nintendo, Sega, Saturn, uh, Super Nintendo. I don't even see the only system I've never seen, but I didn't even see Master System until the internet. Never even heard of it. Heard of it, but never seen it. And uh, what's the other one? Turbo Graphic 16. Only seen that once. So let's see this guy. This feels. Hey, 28. Miss a long one here. By a uh, retro gamer or uh, retro gaming guy. Let's see, check him out. Hey, what's up, everybody? Retro Gaming Guy here. So I'm not clickbaiting you guys. I'm not falsely advertising anything. I'm going to show you guys the craziest DK Oldies unboxing and review video I have ever seen. And in fact, this is a six-minute video. I've only watched two of the six minutes. I've not watched anything oh, beyond seen a two piece minutes of. on here. But what I saw in those two minutes, man, buckle up! It is wild. So let me know uh, what you guys think at the end of this. We're going to talk about it in a little bit, but I'm going to jump over to the video. I'm going to hit play, show you guys this video. I'll watch it with you. I'm going to hit pause a couple times, point out some you know, little red flags and things that I think we need to discuss as we proceed through the video. Let's dive into it. All right, guys, here is the video. It's called Unboxing N64 from DK Oldies. Six minutes, 19 seconds long. Again, I only watched about two minutes of this, but it's wild. Now, I'm not providing you guys with the channel title here because I don't want you guys to go over there and rip this guy a new cornhole. Um, I would imagine somebody is going to share the link, though. That's how I got this video. Somebody said, dude, check this video out. It's absolutely insane, and it 100% is. Insane doesn't even begin to cover what you are about to see. So, if you do find a link, you do visit this guy's channel, do not bully him. Do not harass him. Um, I don't want to promote any of that. That is not the point of this video. The point of this video is to just see the craziness that is out there with these TKO defenders. So let's play the video. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Um, I got my package from DK Oldies. Um, here I'm going to get it. All right. So here we have our package from DK Oldies. Um, I'll touch on it in just a second, guys, but just so you know. Um, as usual, um, if, I, if you're coming here to hate, do not, don't, don't be here to hate, just like watch the video, if you don't like the video, you can go somewhere else, but today we're going to be unboxing some stuff. I was expecting this to come in two different shipments, guys, um, because I ordered three, uh, three uh, N64 games and an N64 controller, and then also the console. Um, the 64 console, not the boards or anything, just the console. Um, so we're going to be opening that up today. Uh, so let me go ahead and just get my scissors and then we can go ahead and get started. Um, Alright. Can you see? Can you see? Hang on. Alright. So Alright, so I'm going to pause this a couple times in this video to point out some stuff that immediately raises some red flags to me. So this is a box, looks like what I received my N64 console from DK Oldies in. However, that shipping label is not a shipping label that is fixed to the top of this box. I ship every single day uh, for my job outside of what I do here on the channel, and I ship USPS, UPS, FedEx, and DHL for international orders. And that label right there is not a shipping label. You can see there's no barcodes on there. Barcodes are essential on any shipping label. That's how they scan the package into the system. That's how they track everything. There's also no addresses here. So there's a little square here that's whited out, it looks like, or something is stuck over top, but there's clearly no address here. Uh, it would either be, depending on how the orientation is here, 
there'd be an address in the top left corner, then the centered. That is how everything is structured for shipping labels, regardless of what carrier you use. So this could be a packing slip that somebody taped on the top, but DK Oldies uses UPS exclusively for shipments. I know because I received my N64 console through UPS from them. They will put a packing slip into a sleeve that then gets fixed to the outside of your box or package. This is not what they use. So everything about this screams wrong so far. Also, notice over here, just pointing this out as I pick up on it myself. This is a different type of tape. This is the tape with um, these little strands in here that make it stronger. Oh, well, I, I forget no what you would call those. Um, fiber. Yeah, that's that's the uh, the strong tape. What do they call it? that's uh, mailing tape? <clears throat> it's strong and sturdy, so your stuff won't won't get pop won't pop open. We'll, we'll call them fibers. It's the tape that has the fibers in it. That has been removed. It looks like this was an inner flap. This was on the outside, mm. and over here, hard to see at the moment. Right here. You can see right there tape over there that's been cut as well. So it looks like this was opened and then re-taped back together. Um, we got the scissors. We got the scissors. No about setting it up. No about uh, that. Open this. Oh, shoot. Alright. There we go. He seems very nervous. Just gonna say that. We're about to see why. I've never ordered for the ALDs before, but I'm very excited. No about you guys see it? No about that. That's the shipping label right there. Why is the label on the inside? percent the shipping label on the inside of the flaps. Okay. So that was just the facing that? the inside of this and okay. this. Either hold not it. Not visible. Either he said it either he uh fixed this up or they gave him garbage. <laughs> So if this was in a courier's hands, how does he know where to bring it? How does he have the ability to scan it into the system? He doesn't. It was covered up. This was the yeah, top you of the have a shipping label. originally. This tape that you see right across here and how it was torn matches up with the tape out here. This flap that is now the top was under here, as was this one. This is a UPS shipping label. We can see two barcodes. Over here is the shipper's address. Over here is the receiver's address. This is a separate sticker which also has the shipper's or, or the person receiving its address on it in case this gets damaged and it also has the barcode that can scan and you know give the UPS the ability to track this package. And we'll continue on. I think we'll get a better view. Okay, let's, let's take it. Right there, UPS ground, two shipping okay, labels. Yes. The there, DK Oldies is out of Pennsylvania so that does make sense and line up. Um, but I can't zoom in here. I don't know this fella's name. I don't want to know where he lives. I don't want to expose any of that. I don't think anybody can from this. If I zoomed in here, it's just too pixelated to see. I don't know if this is DKOB's address. There's just no way to zoom in there. Now, we're going to continue on, but so far it seems that he has staged this whole unboxing. It's not authentic because there's no way for it to have been that shipping label was inside the box. No way for anybody to ship this and deliver it effectively if you do not have that on the outside. Very simple, he staged this, and he made the only the only real screw up that was possible here to just ruin this for him right off the bat. So we're already in crazy land here. We'll continue on though. Um, it's kind of hard to see, guys. There's not a lot of room in my room, but I don't know if you can. Oh shoot! I don't know if you can see, guys. Um, but there's a bunch of packing peanuts in here. Anybody seen the uh, DK Oldie short videos out there? Everybody has, right? So they do that whole uh, bubble time, right? That's when Joey gets out his bubble wrap. He has those massive rolls. Bubble wraps the hell out of everything. Yeah, I seen which is some good. I seen some of that. I'm not criticizing. You want a bubble wrap? Bubble wrap is awesome for packaging stuff up. When I received my N64 console from DK Oldies, keep it from everything bumping, was a disaster. Bumping inside. around. The N64 didn't function. It wasn't refurbished. It was filthy. All of that is true. The packaging was 100% fine. He bubble wrapped everything. Well, not him. Whoever shipped it, 
bubble wrapped everything. It was in a U-line um, box, just like what we see here. So that does match up. Everything was fine with the packaging. I don't believe they used packaging peanuts. I can't say that for sure. Maybe they do every now and then. They just don't show them in their videos. I didn't receive them that way though. Uh, they use bubble wrap and they also use that paper packing that you can just kind of crumple up, stick it into the nooks and crannies to fill out the box. Make sure nothing shifts in transit and gets damaged. We'll continue on. Uh, there's a bunch of packing peanuts. Uh, I'm gonna put this on the side. Hang on. Um, let's see. So I have got the packaging peanuts. Um, and N64 controller. Loose. No bubble wrap on that at all, just sitting inside the packing peanuts. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but it's a red flag. Uh, it looks pretty good. It's also 100% authentic. Uh, it's hard to see the stamp, but I did. There you can see it. It's right there at the indent there. Uh, I can't say for sure it's authentic, but it looks authentic. You can get one of them off of uh, yeah, Amazon. That's not typically what they ship out. That is one of the criticisms I see a lot is that they love their third-party controllers, but he very well could have upgraded his order, um, you know, opted for, I think it's the $30 markup to get the original N64 controller. Yeah, I didn't know you got to uh, upgrade so, to get a you know, regular controller. I didn't know all, done that. all of that. But I'm not saying that, you know, this didn't come from DK Oldies. I'm just pointing out things that are very concerning at this point. Uh, so we're at the 207 mark. I saw literally, I think, like right here. Um, from this point on, this is all new to me. I have not watched anything further, so I'm dying to see what this N64 console looks like. Um, and at least I assume it works. I guess I have to test this because everyone thinks that DK all this stuff doesn't work. That would be good. You want to test that out. Um, I actually got this specialty cartridge of uh, three games in one. Hang on, let me. Is, is that saran wrap? It's cellophane or whatever you call it. Right? You package this up yeah, like a brownie wrap, yeah. or a sandwich for a picnic. <laughs> and what is that game? That's like a piss yellow translucent <laughs> cartridge. I've never seen anything yellow. like that for <laughs> the N64. <laughs> I've seen like the gold ones, uh, yellow for, I think it was a Pokemon. <clears throat> I've never seen translucent yellow. <clears throat> Clear there is no padding on that whatsoever. Unless you use like the whole saran wrap um, roll, there is no way that that is providing anything other than just like maybe keeping the dust out of it. No protection from that whatsoever. The packing peanuts help. Yeah, that's that's that's, but that's, that's just about wild it. that you would be That's not bubble wrapped. Just throw it in loose at that point. Plastic wrap is not gonna is not gonna get it. Oh yeah. I never, oh, I never, I never seen that before. We're gonna look at that. Mario's it. Mario Party. What the hell is that? I heard it, but never played it. What the fuck is that? Mario, Mario Party. With a bunch of games on there, Mario that's Party. 15? I think that's 15 NES games. I never heard of it. Bro, that's not authentic. I've heard of Mario so Party, but not, not, not no thing with no 15, 15 games. games on it. It's 9. 18, so it's 9 and 9, that's not 15 games. What the hell is going on here? 9 and 9 is 18. NES games. 3 Mario Party. 9 and 1, 9 is 18. Alright, so 15 and 3, 18. Oh. 18 games. There's no N64 cartridge that has 18 games on it. I don't even think, even think there's a 3 so. and 1 unless it's like an obscure title. Definitely not from Mario Party. This is not authentic. This is just complete trash. This is essentially emulation on original hardware. Um, what's likely in here, they had those, what were they called? I had one at one point. Um, I, I'm, I'm an emulation fan. If you watch this channel beyond just my DK Oldies content, everything on here for the most part is like emulation based. It was the EverDrive, I believe it was called. You used to put, uh, I don't even know if they make them anymore. You would load ROMs onto a micro SD card that then got inserted into the N64 cartridge. Then you would put that into an N64, and it would basically trick the N64 into thinking that you had a legit N64 game in there. I remember something You would like boot that. up software, and from the software, that thing you, was like $200. Entirely, you could put like the entire N64 library on it. That thing was like $200. I remember that thing. They had one for Super Nintendo. Before I got rid of the Super Nintendo, I wanted to get that thing. But I don't know about $200 for a... Uh, Whatever the hell that was, that they can keep that. That was a little crazy. If you wanted to, um, and you could do like hacks and stuff like that, it was pretty cool. 
Now, this isn't that, but it's the same idea. This is emulation on original hardware. This is bootleg as hell. I've never seen this before. It's not authentic. That's just absolutely insane that, I, first off, I can't find this dude credible. I don't know if this has actually, any of this actually came from DK Oldies, but if they sent him this, that's insane to me. Um, and, like, we're not even going to get into, like, the legality of it, but um, that's, that's crazy. And it's actually three Mario Party games in one, guys. It's Mario... Yeah, but it's 18 in one if you read the label. Party one, two, and three. This is actually a really... I paid for the three regular games, and they gave me the limited edition three in one. Bro, I hope you don't think that's limited edition. I hope you don't... I hope you know that that's not even authentic. Collector's edition, man. Collector's edition. Bro. No. No, 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 no. I'm gonna look this up as we watch the rest of this video. Joey himself like, told me he was gonna give me this. Joey himself told him. <laughs> Bro, somebody's gonna Joey. sell you a bridge. It's gonna be so bad. Um, or at least I assume it was Joey. It was the first one email. It actually comes with some other games, guys. So we're actually getting a really good deal with this. He's the last one to find out, apparently, on this. Like, I'm, I'm just looking this up. I'll, I'll go continue. So we got uh, 1942, Island 3, Battle City. Um, Castlevania 2, Donkey Kong 2, a lot of great games on this. Castlevania, um, 1942. There are great games on there. I saw I a couple that. of them. Donkey Kong 2, um, the Castlevanias, I think Contra was on there. It's just like a random assortment of games. They're awesome games, but like, that's... If he paid for three Super um, Mario Party, or Mario Party games for N64, with DK these prices, and I don't know the exact prices for those, he would have spent those probably hits, those $200 price. on just those three cartridges. And if those, price, those prices are a little rough now. <clears throat> the, the, cheap, the cheapest game I've seen was uh, Courtside. And that was like six bucks. Everything else is, oh, uh, shit, 40 to $70. It's, it's rough up there. If they sent him this, I would want to strangle them. If, if I was this, this dude. I don't know if he's a kid or an adult. Uh, he could be 17 or 47. I really don't know. Wow. Um, he kind of looks like Joey, though. I'm not, not going to lie. I just found this, okay? This is it. Like, that's 100% we get the lighting right. That's 100% it. $39.99. Super 18 in 1 Mario Party 1, 2, 3. Nintendo 64 and 64 US version. NTSC game card. So... It's basically, like I said, emulation on original hardware. It's bootleg. It's from, there's, a, I don't know if it's from these guys, but this is Bit Game Shop. Uh, I'm not familiar with them, but $40, $39.99 is the price that just pulled up. If he actually placed an order, and I don't buy anything that this dude is saying, heard of if he actually placed that order for three titles from DK Oldies and they sent him this, he got so screwed. Um, let's just continue. You got more packing peanuts. We need to see the console now. Oh, the console. The hell is that? Bro. More saran wrap? How about sending him crap? I don't even know if I could blame DK Oldies or just this dude. Like, I don't know if this is all fabricated or if they actually sent him this stuff and screwed him over this badly. And he seems like chipper as hell about it. <laughs> Here we go. Dude, they package that up like they're going on a picnic. What is that? If there is no protection in that box other than simply the packing peanuts, um, which aren't even good um, if you're just floating stuff around there loose like this. That's essentially loose. Let's take a look. That's keeping the dust out at the very least. You would have to use like probably two rolls to protect that with saran wrap. Oh, oh shoot. Oh my okay. god, it's worse than I thought. I thought the box was bad. Like, it just gets worse. Let's see. Alright, and you guys want to open this up so bad? So we're yes. going to be opening this up as well. Um, Look at him wrestling that thing out. What is going on here? Who the hell was sent? <clears throat> Alright, cool. Um, so... It looks like an N64. Correct. Um, what? What is all that? Dude, that's dust. 
You're not pissed off yet? Look at that. That's the reset button. Caked up with stuff. This looks like all dust here, unless it's the lighting, but at the very least, it's not clean. Look at all that. That looks like dust sitting there. Let's get a better view, though. I could be wrong. Yeah. No, I'm not wrong. That's all, that's all crap on there. It looks like sticky, like, clear. I don't, dude, I don't know what that is. I don't even want to speculate. That's all dust. There's no way that's anything but dust right here. The whole thing looks filthy. That's either a nick or, like, paint on here. But that right there, 100% dust. And you can see where he probably just stuck his yeah. finger taking it out. Where it's... Last month. Or was it month? Yeah, last month. I got it refurbished and to get another computer. Computer tore up right before, um, a week before Christmas. And um, I had to get um, another computer. I said, let me see refurbished. Refurbished is only about 110, 120 bucks or 100 bucks. So I got another one, and it was ref uh, refurbished. It had a, uh, it was in um, plastic. It wasn't in that type of plastic. It was sealed up, and it had a little uh, Microsoft, whatever you call it, the thing that sticker on there and stuff. And it was uh, it had the keyboard and the mouse and everything. And it was it was refurbished. It wasn't just thrown in a box and whatever. They had it, they had it fixed in there, so your stuff won't get tore up. But this. I don't know about this. They uh same thing he said. Either they um either he fixed it up or they gave him some garbage or something. It, 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 don't, it don't look right. He's thinking, what the fuck did I just buy? He's gotta be pissed. It looks like it's in good condition. What? <laughs> yeah, bullshit. It's in good condition. He didn't just say that. Like are you okay? Uh, Why am I getting... Look where he just ran his finger. He literally just ran... Let's go back. He literally just wiped all that off. Didn't even react to it. Looks like it's in good condition. No, 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 no. Yes. Yeah, it's dusty on top. Not really a lot of stuff on the surface. Uh, oh my god. Somebody get Stevie Wonder his glasses. Let me do a quick little. Uh, Dude, look. Look at what he just cleared off. He missed this piece right here. Let me just go back. I don't even know what to say. Like, I think I already said it all. Like, that is, I don't know, guys. I just don't even know what to make of that. Um, I would say that that was a parody. I, I would think that that is somebody just having some fun. You guys know that I, I have some fun on here and like to, you know, rip people a little bit and, and, and play some little jokes on the DKO defenders and stuff like that. You know, I can be an ass clown in any way. <coughs> I would say he's doing that if I didn't see his other Remember content. Back in the day, what did Game Pro say? Back in <clears throat> day, 94, 95, in the Game Pro magazine, buyers beware. Now they have, what are they, what are they called? Before you buy. So instead so of just picking up stuff, <clears throat> even if even if the stuff works, like, um, like uh, what's the game I bought? I regret buying it. Um, Sinfu, Saifu. Thought it was going to be like a, a beat em up game like <clears throat> Streets of Rage or something. That game was that game was hard as crap. I got <clears throat> past a few levels and it just got real sickening. So it wasn't what I thought it was. So wasted 50 bucks for nothing. And on his channel when I found this video. And all of his videos are shooting down other YouTubers that have done reviews. I'm one of them. He has a video on me on there. Uh, it's worth checking out. Maybe I'll do a video of that. But um, he has a couple videos on Review Tech USA. He's got videos just giving his opinion. And he is 100% DKO Defender. I don't know what that was that we just watched. I think he's hurting them, if anything. Because if that actually came from them, that is 10 times more horrendous than anything I've ever seen. 
if it didn't come from them, which the fact that there's no sticker on there seems concerning. Nothing seems to be right for DK Oldies on there, except for the fact that it's clearly a dirty mess. Um, I can't even feel good about like saying DK Oldies is doing what they always do here, because I'm not even sure that came from them. Mm. This guy is just... I don't even know, man. Like... Let me know what you guys think about what we just watched. I'm like totally blown away. I was prepared for crazy. I wasn't. In, I was in no way prepared for that level of crazy. <laughs> I've got nothing. Literally, speaking of us here. So let me know what you guys think of what we just watched. Hit me up in the comment section, please. Like I <clears throat> said, never ordered from them. Like, oh, I guess get some games. But um, if I do get something from them, yeah. Um, same thing. All I wanted was a 64, because um. Only system I'll try to get back because I didn't had <coughs> the original Nintendo. Oh, <sighs> probably about two or three times. I had Super Nintendo two or three times in between uh, getting the original one, then a garage sale, then uh, another garage sale, and you know somebody running across one. So because back in the uh, day, garage sales and stuff, you could find that stuff anywhere. And before the stuff got super expensive, you could get those games for. Uh, the most you probably pay for them is 20, 15, 20 bucks. But now it's, <clears throat> you can forget that. <laughs> You're paying 40, 50, 60. Like they're sealed up in the box with it or something. Like it's 1996. Right? But yeah. So. <clears throat>